The VMAs are officially here. We have to see what the celebs are wearing. It's the VMAs. All the looks are gonna be over the top. This is Jimbo, lots of pink feathers. It's not my fave. Offset in this little black suit. I mean, it's definitely cropped, belt buckle, a lot of accessorizing going on, but you know what? He's making it his own and that's all that matters. Okay, Cardi B wearing Delara Fendi Koglu. I believe that's how you say it. This is a work of art. Like this is really cool. I love the silver. I mean, it's like her take on metallic. I think even the cuffs are amazing. I don't know, I think this is fun and different and we all love Cardi because she's a risk taker. Anita wearing Scaparelli. This is not my favorite dress, but again, it's the VMA, so anything goes. I mean, her body looks amazing on it, but it's definitely not one of my favorite gowns. Don Tolliver in this burgundy pant set. I can't get over the shoes. The shoes are interesting. I wonder who they're by. Um, everything else is pretty kept pretty simple. I mean, he has the big bling around his neck, but again, the shoes is immediately where my eyes go. Callie, and I don't think the bottom part is needed because it is the VMAs, you can wear whatever. Um, or just, or have the dress be whole, but that kind of mesh cut out in just like in the most random spot to me is not necessary. Demi Lovato, okay, I love the hair and makeup. You know, the wet hair look, the makeup is very sultry, very sexy. I don't know, I mean, the coat just kind of covers everything, so you don't really know what you're kind of working with underneath. I mean, it's a cool coat, but I wanted to see something a little bit more. Colton Haynes wearing all of the above. I mean, I see a turtleneck, a blazer, pants, and then it almost looks like, I don't know if the material is hanging off the blazer or the pants, I'm not too sure, but I mean, to each their own. A boogie keeping it simple in a monochromatic moment. Carol G wearing Ashy Studio. Okay, here's the thing. I love the hair and makeup, I love the coat. The dress is even pretty, but I mean, I don't get just wearing underwear underneath. You know, wear a, you know, a fitted slip, something, you know, let's leave a little to the imagination, but it's just, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm all for a risk taker, but at this point, you know, it's not necessary. Sweetie wearing area. Okay, the pink gown is really cool. Those little accent details, I'm not sure how I feel about those. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Flintstones, you know, like the little bones in the hair, but this has like little bones on the dress. I'm not sure how I feel about those. I mean, I love the pink. I love the sequence. I feel like if those were gone, it would have it would have made more sense. I just, I don't understand why they're there. They make no sense to me. I was waiting for Olivia Rodrigo. She's wearing Ludovic de Saint Cernan. I'm not too familiar with, but I love the dress. I mean, Olivia has such a cool style. I'm always curious to see how they're gonna dress her for the red carpet. I do feel this was a little safe just because again, the VMAs, you can be a little bit more yourself and this is just very glamorous. I could have seen this more for the Grammys, but I think it's a beautiful dress overall. I think her hair and makeup look great, um, but yeah, it's really pretty. We have a lot more looks coming in part two.